All right, guys, so we just dropped the kids off, and we are starting our journey. Um, well, we dropped the kids off a little bit earlier. Um, traffic was crazy, but uh, we're headed to the Oki Homestead Expo. Super excited about it. As you see, little Miss Stephanie over here, she's got her old lounge lounge back here, just, just a sleeping away. But uh, anyways, I'm, we're just stoked. We're we're proud to be here. We're excited to uh, just get to experience all the new stuff. It's amazing. So, hope you enjoy this video. If you're new to the channel, be sure to like and subscribe. All right, guys. Hey, we have made it here to Pryor, Oklahoma. We're at the Oki Homestead Expo, and uh, we're a few days early, but um, we're just kind of looking around, checking everything out. Uh, we just got through having uh, lunch and uh, got to visit with some of our friends. We're super excited. So, um, I don't know. This video is just going to be pieces and kind of showing y'all what's going on. And I hope y'all enjoy the video as much as uh, we enjoy being here. It's crazy. It's been over a year since we've been here. Over yeah. a year. Yeah. yeah. Because, yeah. But uh, they're putting spray foam insulation in here. And uh, let me tell you, uh, Brandy, Rachel, and uh, Kevin, and Dutch, and uh, Cassie and them was up here the other night, and they're live, and Gary, um, they're starting to set everything up. They've done a wonderful job, so follow us along. Hey, guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank each and every one of y'all for clicking on the video. What a beautiful morning it is. We're here at a Vivo here in Pryor, Oklahoma. This is the first day of the Oakley Homestead Expo. We come up yesterday and uh, helped out uh, with the expo and just getting everything, cheers and everything ready and uh, had a really good time. This could get, I could get used to seeing something like this. Uh, it's absolutely amazing. Yeah, I've been watching the fish jump every, all morning while she's been asleep. She's been asleep all day, so. Hey, well, uh, I worked late. Though. Yeah, so uh, anyways, uh, Sunset. The sunset is absolutely gorgeous, but we are going to the expo right now, and uh, we'll shoot a little bit of video there. So, so we have made it to the Walkers, uh, to Gary and Cassie Walker with Walker Farm Fans uh, Farm, and uh, wow, they got a nice barn coming up. The reason why we're up here, for one, is it's the Okie Homestead Expo, and um, we came to it last year and it's absolutely awesome. If you missed it, I'm sorry. It was a really good time. So what today, first day is um, a hog butchering process that they're going to show us how to dispatch a hog and how to properly clean him. And then from here, we'll do all that today and then we'll move to the expo and then they will do a curing class and stuff like that. But um, this is the hog going to use for the uh the butcher which all the meat and stuff will be ate we'll be eating it at the expo <clears throat> some of it at the expo this is oki this hog was named oki by um keeping it dutch and um they he's been kept here uh, at the walkers and they fed him and and took really good care of him um super super nice um animal and uh you know, that's one good thing that, that we're trying to do at our farm is eventually to be able to have hogs and cows and stuff. We have a steer that we're going to get processed, but we're not going to process it ourselves. Um, but the hogs and stuff, we can start raising them and filling our icebox full of meat and stuff. Because that's what I want to do is teach the children if they ever had to live off the land, live off the land and raise their own meat and vegetables and stuff. I know right now it's... It, I know our farm doesn't meet the standards to a lot of other people's expectation, um, but here's the deal. We started from scratch, and as years go on, we're going to get bigger and better. Um, it's just like anything else. But anyways, this is Oki, and um, once we start, we'll come back here, dispatch him, and then I'll take you up here and actually show you um, of where we're going to um, do the butchering and the processing and stuff over here. Um, Gary just got their hay cut the other day. Let me grab my coffee here. Absolutely amazing, guys. 
So if you did not get to make this year or last year, um, I know they're going to continue this Oki Homestead Expo every year. Not saying they're going to bring the hogs and stuff um, every year. It'll probably change up, but this is what they're going to uh, bring it to after it's been dispatched. We're going to come over here and I'm just going to kind of show you here, which uh, Gary came out and heated up the water and uh, it's got a bull to a certain temperature, which um, once they start teaching class, I don't remember uh, the temperature, but we'll put it on here, hang it, and then they will dip it here uh, to get the hair and stuff off up. Well, last year, um, uh, Gary and Cassie actually uh, built a walk-in cooler. They built a walk-in cooler here, and this is kind of the preparation set up here but um it's a really nice they did an amazing job and i ain't going to take all that off but that door right there pops open and there's a, a cooler inside there well how are you tanya Hello. what are you bringing the shot glasses yes just for me and you just me <laughs> yeah. might as well get the morning started right <laughs> So uh, the deal with the, the whiskey, they have a tradition and they got a book here and they will actually um, talk about the book, um, the tradition and stuff and they'll go over it um, and kind of, we'll just wait until we get that point because I'll butcher it up. But as you've seen, uh, Tanya with Fowler Family Farm, uh, her husband Mike, they actually, they're pretty close to us and neighbors, which you see them come over to the farm all the time. And uh, Mike's done an amazing job helping us build the tiny cabin. And uh, he's gonna be coming back out and helping. Uh, they've been doing some vacation. He had some job changes and, not job changes, positions. But, um, and you get on the schedule and you come back and help. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoy the video. There's not going to be nothing real graphic. If it is, I'll blur it out. So I'm gonna get out here and uh, visit and meet some people. We, uh, there's a, people that um, bought tickets for the class i'm gonna get out and meet them and see who all's here so all right guys getting ready to get started so we'll see how it goes it is it is always a point of stress for my part when it's woven wire because the pig's head uh and the angle of it actually matters a lot I, hitting it in the right spot but at the wrong trajectory is not good so my my trajectory has to be right and when you're going through four by four inch squares it actually challenges the trajectory a lot so it's going to take me maybe a minute for that pig to be exactly where i want it to be uh, when i take my shot but otherwise um, if it's poly wire something like that you don't have to think anything about it just make sure you're finished with the so to move it front end loader is nice if you don't have a front end loader a pallet is nice because holding an ear or a tail of the pig is a lot harder than carrying a pallet like this so you get a bunch of people around it pallbearers it's a lot easier <laughs> well good morning guys it's day two of the Oki homestead expo and yes this is a beautiful beautiful sight man it's going to be hard to leave this but um yes hope each and every one of y'all having a wonderful day we had an absolutely awesome time yesterday at the walkers um, that's where they held the uh, hog processing and um, uh, we met some of our amazing subscribers deborah from california she drove all the way from california to oklahoma straight through i met daniel from texas um, obviously um, uh, cassie and gary their house um sean and brandy with uh, keeping it dutch and um rachel and that uh kevin guy with hidden hots farm we're gonna go in here and see what steph's doing well good morning beautiful morning you about ready yep. we got about 10 minutes gotta get on the road um done with my hair that's the main thing all right, guys, so I finally got Steph up and around. No, I'm just joking. She was getting ready while we was doing uh, live with the morning with the Eddie. So um, what a beautiful sunrise it was this morning. And if you want to see that, I didn't talk very well, but um, I was just waking up, literally just woke up, get a cup of coffee, and start chit-chatting with everybody. But 
Um, we are on our way to the expo. Super excited. Yeah. You excited? Yeah. Um, we've had an awesome time up here so far. And uh, the only thing that would make it better is to have our kids here. Uh, I, I tell you, <laughs> Brandon made me cry last night. Just that, that little girl, she is, she going to be a heartbreaker. She's got you figured out. Yeah, she, she knows how to work me. She does, but uh, I don't have no doubt in her mind that she loves her daddy. But, uh, yeah, she's she's a little character. So what did you think about yesterday? Uh, yeah. It was, it was a little bit different from last year, which I liked. Uh, they kind of fixed the food into a loaf this time. And the last time it was more like, I didn't know what the last time was, but it was, I didn't know how to explain it. Yeah. But it was a little bit different. Steph, she uh, did a tour of the house, like I said earlier. I don't know where I'm putting everything, so some things may be repeated, but uh, Steph, did, Steph did a tour of our Airbnb or Bebo that we're staying in. So if you want to see that, go over to her channel, Life on Eddie Family Farm. And uh, hey, we got to meet a few subscribers yesterday. Yeah. Deborah, yeah. Deborah, all the way from California, drove straight through. And then I met uh, Daniel from Texas. Uh, he was there, and we had a really good time. Uh, so, man, I'm, I'm super stoked. Uh, I know there will be, uh, we'll just put parts of each day in a video. You know, I'm not going to make four or five videos, but, you know, I'll probably, Steph will be filming throughout the day. I'll be filming as well. But uh, today is at the, you know, the big day. Today's the first day at the expo. They want to have the workshops. Really just, uh, for us, anyway, it's just kind of welcoming vendors and getting them all set up and yeah. showing them where they need to be and just kind of making it an easy day today. Yeah. So, anyways, I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. We made it here to the expo, so we got the parking set up. Uh, talked to uh, Sean and uh, Kevin. And we're, all the vendors are going to be here in the middle. So we put this no parking area. This will all be parking. But super excited. There's people already arriving and coming up and talking and introducing themselves. Guys, if you didn't make it this year, you're missing out. So most definitely, about film. So most definitely, hopefully you can make it next year. But um, I'm sure this video will just go continue on. And we'll just show clips throughout the day. And uh, we just absolutely hope you enjoy it. All right, guys, this is Doug and Stacy's class, and uh, they're getting everything set up uh, to start their class. And, uh, fermenting. Fermenting. Yep. Fermenting. Cool. And Tanya was actually uh, telling me what fermenting is. We'll see how this class goes. If you missed it, maybe you can uh, show up next year and see it. Hopefully they're there. This is gardening with Leon. Um, Leon is actually down by where we live in... Uh, He's from the Kingston area, and they're going to be teaching how to grow, uh, how to grow uh, tomatoes out of the wick buckets and things like that. So, uh, periodically today, we'll come through and uh, just check everything out and try to go to all the classes. So, uh, most definitely, um, Leon has got a YouTube channel as well that he, he explains everything. So uh, it's quite interesting. And I'll put a link down in the description box for all the YouTube channels for the people uh, that are putting these classes on. Teaching everybody how they can.
All right, guys, so that was the four classes um, that they're actually doing today. Over here in building uh, B, this is where all the vendors are going to be going. And we'll kind of go in there here after a while. There's a few of them setting up now. And all the food trucks and stuff are going to be coming through here. So, hi right, guys, so like I said, is this is all going, this is all open right now, but tomorrow, this is where the petting zoo, the parking and everything's gonna be over here. As you see, the people, the vendors are starting to pull in. Uh, the food trucks are all going to be lined up over here on the back side, um, which is probably the last hour or so everybody started pulling in. Uh, tons of tractors up there, which I'm going to take you all up there and show you all that before everybody gets here and you can actually check it out. What are you doing? I'll try to the food, <clears throat> food truck. How many more do we like? Six or seven food trucks lined up. We got, this is what's cool about it. We already have four on site. Uh -huh. Last year, we were waiting for them to show up day of, so it was a little nerve-wracking. And then there was large lines, too. Huge lines. They all sold out. Right. That was some awesome cheesecake. Thank you all earlier for the cheesecake. Oh, look at He's going to get some. <laughs> uh, Gary's sneaking over here to get some cheesecake. <laughs> hey, they offered brains. I'm not going to turn them down. Oh, well, I, I got one earlier, so I can't say nothing. <laughs> So going back out here, uh, we just got vendors setting up every, hey, oh my God, check that out. That dude is working. Try to break them down. Well, we got an oxen guy that's bringing a team of oxen in. He's gonna back up here and we're gonna try to figure out how to oh, get him in. Oh, to get him in here? Yep. Okay. Uh, I'm this one. Yeah. You can actually swing it backwards. So anyways, I'll show you all all that here later. All right. So they are backing up. They brought some oxes that they're going to actually be putting in the pen. This Kevin's been uh, setting this up over here. So they look like they're pretty tame, Kevin. Yeah. Hey, buddy. How are you? Huh? How are you? He's a pretty boy or girl. Looks like there's two, two of them back in there. Yeah. I don't know if I've ever seen any. I haven't. Right, guys, we have made it back to the house. Um, the first day of the expo went really, really well. I've, I'm losing my voice. I've got allergies or something. I got some medicine and I got some remedy from uh, the Max. Um, Kobe, Kobe gave me some of the remedy that they brought from the house. So hopefully that works. I'm just, uh, all the drainage is just, it's crazy. So it couldn't happen at a worse time. Hopefully everything's gonna be up and good tomorrow. I'm just gonna do a lot of praying tonight and uh, hopefully wake up in the morning without a sore throat. So we'll see what happens. Um, we're going to wrap it up. We're going to call it a night. Super, super tired. We're going to get up at 530 in the morning and start putting everything out. So um, it ought to be fun in the morning. All right, guys. So we're going to go ahead and start putting out the signs this morning. It's terrible. I have lost my voice over the last couple of days. I'm hoping it's going to get a little bit better. It's just a sign inspection. I think it's just the late night air that's kind of messed it up. So we're going to get this going. This is day two of the expo. I have lost my voice last night. It's getting a little bit better, but um, we're gonna make it through the day. So the deal is, is if I have a hard time emceeing, Cassie's gonna hang around and help me out. So that's going to be awesome. Um, we've had an awesome time up here with everyone. Uh, the tr food trucks and everything's kind of setting up. There's a few more that's come in. And then uh, a lot of the vendors are, are finally uh, showing up. We're going to go to the front up here and uh, see some of the vendors. That's the delicious cheesecake right there. That's awesome. And then most of the other ones, uh, tons of vendors are setting up back here in the back. <clears throat> then we'll walk over here and show um, 
all of the other guys. So everybody's got their booth set up. Um, this is going to be building uh, B. This is the building two. I call it building two. That's what we'll be on seeing there. I should hear the answer to, because most people are thinking the same exact question. You know, so don't hesitate to ask questions. We're here to provide that service for you. So, you know, if you have any questions about anything from deer, elk, or moose, if I can't answer it, I'm sure Greg can come up with some kind of book. You know. So it, it's nine. I'm Albert Lutch here from Without. Setting down, on the, job. Like setting down on the job. Setting down on the job. How many so far? I'm holding this chair now. 783. Yeah. 783. Yeah. Wow. That's crazy. We're just making sure this can the wind's picking up. We're making sure these chairs yeah. and the canopy yeah, don't go yeah. away. Hold the chairs down? Yeah. <laughs> it's a little better, not bad. But I don't understand. It's crazy. All right, guys, so we are headed to uh, uh, Barn B. That is where I'm being the MC. I've got all my instructions here. Um, obviously, I've lost my voice, but uh, we're going to get through the day. Cassie's going to be uh, here if uh, I need help. And then uh, Crandall. Crandall's back there, and uh, he, he'll be coming up. He'll be uh, helping out, so uh, anything we need. Uh, we'll definitely get through it, that's for sure. So, here's we have a 60 acre homestead where we raise our three children a garden, cattle, goats, chicken, pigs, and you never know what else Cassie might drag home. God called us to foster and adopt over 10 years ago, and it's a major part of our journey. Along the way, we have grown an interest in adding more chickens on our farm. Cassie began hatching and raising multiple breeds that have helped our family become more self sufficient. We're excited to share the practical knowledge we have gained to help you start and grow your own backyard flock. So, um, Gary and I, well, I have done Instagram um, ever since Mazzy was two. After we finalized her adoption, I got an Instagram and started showing that. Um, but it's a super cool process. You put those eggs in there, and then in like um, five to seven days, you can take a flashlight and you can start seeing those little red veins. You see completely through it. I leave them in there. Um, because I just want to make sure they're not late or I'm not wrong. Um, and then, um, 12 to 14 days, they start looking, starts getting darker. Um, so it's just a really cool process and I, I really enjoy it. Um, a lot of people freak out if you open that incubator all the time. Do you think the mama ever like gets off of the eggs? Do you think people are real adamant about the turners? I hatch ducks and I only turn them when I remember. Um, yeah, you know, if you're going All right, yeah, we're doing a round of applause, but if you don't have any questions right now, we're going to open it up for Q&A. If you don't want to ask me some questions, just raise your hand and I'll bring you the mic. So,
All right, guys, so we're still at the expo. I got part of my voice back, so hey, it's a, it's a better day. So I'm out here with Nick and Zoe right now and Farmer Red. And, uh, come here. Oh, there you are. You ran there off. He is. You were chasing that cow, wasn't you? <laughs> yeah. So uh, I'm going to let them introduce themselves and uh, we'll go from there. So, uh, Nick, what do y'all do? We are <clears throat> Nick and Zoe Baker from Central Alabama. Uh huh. Uh, we do farm to table chickens and turkeys and on the way to doing pork. Pork. Feeder pigs and Oh man. Of course you've got all the ducks and geese and all that good all stuff. And stuff. we've got some of the just pet animals for peacocks. And right. Like that. Right. We're mainly into raising our kids and right. farm to table and letting them know where their food comes from. Yeah, and you got three kids? We do. Three kids. We have Mackenzie who is our farm hand basically right now while uh -huh. we're at the she's 14 and then i've got an eight year old and then farmer red is the boss are you the boss are you sure about that <laughs> huh? chestnut, hills farm chestnut hills farmstead did y'all hear that <laughs> chestnut hills farmstead so you have to go over there check out chestnut hill farmstead and tell farmer red hi well hey what do they need to put in the description box what kind of animal the oxen guys start baby, baby, baby ducks. Baby ducks. Okay. Y'all heard it right there, guys. Leave a comment with some baby ducks. So y'all have a great day. It has been a long day. I am talking really low. Um, my voice is gone, but as long as I talk low, it's okay. I made it through the day. Cassie with uh, Walker Farm Fam had to help me out on the last one. I really need my voice for the next couple of days. Um, this is really important to me. So, um, beautiful view, beautiful view, guys. Absolutely gorgeous. And uh, man, I wouldn't know what to do to wake up to this every morning. But um, Marie and William uh, Crandall um, and his wife Marcy, uh, the Brown family, and Mike and Tanya with Fowler Family Farm. They're going to be coming over for a little while this evening. We're going to show them the view. Uh, just kind of have a, a really good time and uh, just fellowship. It's been really busy the last few days and it's been hard. Man, uh, I'm tired, but um, it's just one of those deals that rest when we get back home. So um, anyways, uh, Steph showed the house around quite a bit and um, I'll probably have to grab some of her footage. I didn't feel much today just because I didn't feel good. And um, the party has arrived. Listen, Abby, I, will, I wish her voice would go out so I didn't have to listen to her all the time. Whatever. Yeah. That's, just, <clears throat> that's God's way of saying. She anyways, talk more. Um, I did get to talk to Girl Jack uh, earlier. He took me out to the truck and um, he showed me some hides that he had skinned and stuff. So it was pretty neat. But, um, anyways, guys. But we're just gonna have some fun. And old, old Ed back there, he's eating him a steak. And oh no, no, he's eating a hamburger. A hamburger. A hamburger. So um anyways, tomorrow's the big day. So we'll see y'all there. Probably gonna step outside for a few minutes if you have anything for him. Um a couple announcements. The the big chicken plucker over there, they're gonna do a giveaway for it in show barn A at twelve thirty. So if you're interested in entering for the the uh, chicken plucker, that's at twelve thirty in barn A. So you have to be present to win for the drawing. So keep that in mind. Uh, Brandon's gonna come up and tell us about um, the, the sponsor for the event is Blue Eddie, and he's got a whole feel for them, I think. Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> well, thank y'all so much for coming out. Um, yesterday, or day before yesterday, I actually lost my voice. Today is back a lot better, but if you don't know me, my name's Brandon. Uh, me and my wife's here, we're a family of six. Uh, we've got a YouTube channel called Eddie Family Farm. Uh, we've been doing YouTube for about four and a half years now. And with that going on, um, Blue Eddie reached out to us about two years ago and asked if we would be willing to sponsor the product, um, Blue Eddie. And if you don't know what Blue Eddie is, it is a power bank. They've got multiple different sizes. We got a booth, booth up over here in another uh, barn. The first one they sent to us was a small one. And this is one reason why we really enjoy it is because we take it to all of our sporting events and stuff with the kids and charge all the phones, anything and everything. 
And as as we continued working with them, um, they sent us another bigger one that we started using around the farm. And um, it's just a really good product. We got a booth set up over here. Um, we're going to be doing a giveaway. We're actually going to be giving this one away here at two o'clock. And um, if you want to know some more information about it, come over to the booth, get registered for the giveaway. And uh, we'll do it right when uh, Dusty, is it when Dusty comes on or after? Probably right before Dusty speaks. Yeah, it'll be right before Dusty speaks. But um, another good, you know, you can charge these in your car, your house. Um, they also have solar panels that you can hook up. And that's what we use them mainly for around the farm. But now we have electricity there. At the time we didn't. So we use everything with uh, solar power, uh, the, uh, the panels. So um, if you're interested, come over there and check us out and uh, sign up for the giveaway. Good job, Brandon. When we first started YouTube, obviously uh, companies would reach out to you when, when, when you grow bigger. And Blue Eddy actually sent us uh, our first one probably about two and a half years ago. And uh, it was a little handheld one. And we took it everywhere. Ball games, basketball games. Charge your phones, tablets. And at that time, we was using GoPros to film everything, so we had to have them. Yeah. And uh, as time went on, you know, they sent us bigger ones to, to test. And this one here, we actually have this in at the house. So even if you, like, don't have power out there, you got your uh, solar, they send you solar power. You can, our panels and lay them out, and that will keep it charged. It's a pretty fast charge if you just leave it hooked up and let them, let them charge throughout the day when you're doing whatever. But, yeah, it's pretty cool to work with you. And I think that what's, that's what separates them from other people is um, it, they, they take you for serious. Right. It ain't one of them deals that I'm gonna sell you a product and I'm done. Yeah. Um, Just a charger for here. Yes, <clears throat> so it will work on it. So when we first got them, we was on the farm when we moved out there. That's how we charged all of our GoPros and stuff. Right, yeah. We didn't have no power out there at the time, so we had solar panels hooked up to it, and yeah. that's how we charged everything all day long. Yeah. Plus our little bitty bar uh, chainsaws. Right, yeah. 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 Um, and like I told the gentleman that just left, I've worked with other companies. Their customer service is by far the best that I've worked with with solar, these solar power uh, generators. Um, a lot of companies are, well, I ain't going to say no names, but some of them are just like, well, I got your money, that's it, you know. Or four, okay, this is the PV120. This is what I actually have. And then that moves up to the PV200. Uh, and then the 355 or the 350 and 400, but I can tell you this here: the PV 200 was more than enough for that little one I had. Okay. I could probably get by with the PV 120. The 120 okay. Yeah, but um, today on the back, if you'll take one of these pamphlets, if you decide to uh, go check one out, if you'll scan that, they'll give you a 10 percent 10 percent discount. Okay. So, I'm yeah, do yeah, yeah. I, I'm tell, I really like the product. It's it's amazing. How are you? Good. So I don't know anything about these. I mean, I know what they do, but. Right, right. Um, so I have a refrigerator in the kitchen, uh -huh. a freezer in the basement, and a freezer in the garage. Uh -huh. So you have to have three separate units. So, so yes, and how far apart are they? Um, well, the kitchen is up. But uh, the P PV200s have worked out just fine for us. If you decide to, um, like you want to get one or something, today they've got an active code on the back here. It's 10% off. If you click that code, it'll give you 10% off on your purchase. So, like if I go home and do it, it still will, or just today? Yeah, actually, let, let's click it right now. I'll see, see what it says here. And so, um, you service everywhere? Yes, yes. So, oh, it's the next 12 days. 12 days. Yeah. Okay. So if you scan that, it'll take you straight to that, and uh, you have 12 days to get it, and it's 10% off. Great. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Um, for the next, uh, I think it's 12 days, they're offering 10% off on all purchases. Actually operate these off your cell phone. They got an app that you can turn it on or off. Say, if you was running the RV lights or whatever inside the RV, you wouldn't have to get up and go outside and turn it off because you could turn it off with your app. All right, guys, so we have just come back to the room, packed our stuff. We just got Brandon's candy. Got my candy, got everything, and 
the babies are crying. They're ready for mom and daddy to be home. And we're going to go ahead and go back tonight. I'm kind of soft when it comes to the kids. But, um, yeah, we had a great time. And uh, if you're new, first time clicking on the video, go over and check out our channel. But mm -hmm.